Hello everyone and welcome to part 2 in our survival series reboot. In the last episode we worked on getting our stats to appear on the screen in the form of circular bars and in this episode we're going to work on the depletion of these stats when we do sprinting. So when we sprint we're going to have our stamina deplete and have our food affect this as well. So let's get started and jump right in. So we're going to start off by taking a look at our stamina meter in our player character. So let's go open up our player character. And in there, we're storing stamina inside of our stats array of uh, maps here. Now, what we're going to be doing is calling this auto stats here whenever we're sprinting. Um, and the regain that we get from the stamina will be based entirely on how much food we have. The more food we have, the faster the re um, replenishment of our stamina would be. The less food we have, the slower it would be. So let's go a look at our first of all get sprinting working. So for this we're going to go ahead and make a sprint input in our project settings. And in there we'll go down to input. And we're going to add sprint. And I've put on left shift and on gamepad left the thumbstick button. And if I search for that sprint button input, it'll be there. Okay, so in here I'm going to make a function called start sprint and another function for stop sprint now the reason why I want these is two separate things is because there may be occasions where I want to take the stop sprinting for various reasons such as like start the cutscene or start a conversation when I want to hit a button I don't want the player to be sprinting throughout these things I could force it to happen okay so let's go to start sprint first and go ahead and change that so I'm going to take my character movement component set max walk speed and we'll put that in at 900 okay so it's 50 percent faster than what they currently were and then on stop sprint i'm going to copy this and go to stop sprint and put that on there too and put this back to 600. okay so we've got some basic uh, walking and sprinting setup. I'm just going to go over to my event graph and add those onto it. I hope these aren't tied to the stats yet, so it's going to be infinite. I just want to make sure we actually are sprinting so this actually works. Go down with shift and I can run a lot faster. Okay. Next, we need to actually take away these, uh, these um, stamina points. So as I travel around, if I'm sprinting, I need to know whether I am sprinting or not. So we're going to have a variable, what is sprinting, and that's going to be our boolean. And we're going to set that on start sprint to be true, and on stop sprint set it to be false. So start sprint true, stop sprint false. Okay. We then need to keep track of how far we are traveling when we're in stamina. We don't want to be standing still, holding down the shift key and see our stamina deplete. We want to only do it when we're moving. So we're going to go into our event graph and go to the tick event. And in here, we're going to have a Fedora function called um, sprint stamina. And in our sprint stamina, we need to check a couple of things. First of all, the velocity of our character. Make sure they are reaching a certain speed. So get velocity. And we're going to get the speed of that, which is the target, uh, the vector length of, sorry, of it. So vector length will return the speed itself. And then we'll just say when you've reached a speed of over uh, 600, we want to um, also, also we are sprinting. So is sprinting is also true and boolean combine those together um if that is true then we're going to deplete that stat so put that in there and we're going to go and take our auto stats function out through and the stat we're going to deplete is going to be stamina and the value now keep in mind this is happening on a tick event so it's quite frequent so you don't want to do it a large amount. Okay, so in here we're going to do delta world seconds. Okay, 
and we may have to multiply this by a certain number. Let's see what that looks like right now. Actually, no, let's multiply it by 10 first. Oh no, it's going to be quite small. Okay, so delta seconds is how much time has gone between frames. Okay, so I'm going to multiply that by 10 there. Now, if you wanted to, you could also do it so um, it's not frame dependent. It could be something that you're doing that's time dependent. However, if I'm doing sprinting, um, I want to make sure I'm, I'm making the, the distance I've actually traveled. Uh, so if I've missed frames, I'm not worried about catching uh, any missed stamina there. I only want to take away stamina for frames that I've actually seen difference. So it's not too bad to have it on this. And that's going to alter the stats there. Okay. File that. Go back to our event graph. And put that on the tink there. Tick. Sorry, not tink. Tick. And. That. So let's now test that out. If I run around. Hold down shift. Sprinting. But we're not seeing any change yet on our graph. Okay. So let's take a look at our graph for our UI. Okay, so this one we've set to be stamina. Okay, and if I go to click edit stat bar, we've told this thing to bind itself to on stat updated. So basically I want to check that this is still okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a print string and we're going to print out this value that's coming out of here. It may be just too small. Oh, let's have a look. Okay, so we are getting a value out. Okay. So all the ones, by the way, are the other uh, nodes. The number we're looking at is the one that's moving. That's increasing now. Okay. So if I go back to my player character, Let's print stamina. Alter stats here is positive. So I need to multiply this by negative. All that. And now, see the bar went really, really quickly. So 10 is obviously way too much. Uh, let's actually just put it in straight as it is. Oh, hang on. Because I have to multiply by minus one still. Uh, multiply by minus one. Okay, this will be too fast, I reckon, still too. Yeah. We're trying to narrow down the default speed when you've got full food. What is that default speed? Then we can make a multiplier based upon the food level. So, we're going to do minus. Point one and back in there. Okay, that's looking a bit more like it. Okay, cool. So that is depleting just at a nice speed there. So that speed was minus naught point one. Okay, so now let's take a look at getting that based upon our food. So I'm going to do another add pin to this, and this is going to be the food value. I'm going to do get stats here, and I'm going to find the food value. Remember, it goes between zero and one. So if I've got zero food, I can't sprint, basically. So I'm going to put that in there, and that'll be a now a multiplier, multiplier for our stamina. So the more food we've got, the the uh this sorry maybe the other way around we have to do one minus this sorry uh take this out subtract because we want it to go slower um when we've got full health uh, full food sorry so we do one I've got full food one uh minus one will give us zero. Uh, we don't want to multiply this by zero though, so what I'm going to do is clamp this value and put in the minimum as 0 0.1 point, 0 point and the maximum being 1. Okay, 
So, uh, yeah, hit compile. In fact, I may also want to, I'm going to actually change the speed here to 0 0.2. So default speed when we've got loads of uh, food. Looking quite good there. Okay. Let's increase that speed a little bit. So minus 0 0.4. Yeah, not bad. And you're just going to fine tune these numbers. So let's do minus uh, one. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so we've got stamina there depleting when we sprint. We now want stamina to deplete when we do other actions and also to regain as well. So let's do a jump, for example, to cost stamina. So we're going to go into our character here. Go to our event graph, find the jump, there it is, and before the jump takes place, we're going to alter stats. I'm not going to alter it by a lot, I'm going to do a little bit of stamina here. And we'll say the value would be 0 0.05, okay, so a 20th of your stamina bar will be depleted when you jump. Um, okay, so auto stats here is going to return true or false whether or not we successfully added uh, or took away that value. Now, if it is completely depleted, we also want to check that and report that out. Because let's say I'm sprinting and my stamina then depletes, I want it to, tell it to stop sprinting. So let's do that binding for that. Now this is going to have down here event dispatchers a new one saying on stat depleted and when it's depleted it's going to get called on this based upon this value that we're coming out of here. We're going to take this float from our auto stats and we're going to check to see if this is equal less than or equal to zero and we're going to put that into a branch. And false will go on to what we had previously. But if it is less than or equal to zero, that means that stat has been depleted. So I'm going to drag out stat depleted. Cool. And there. Okay. Um, and then return node will put up there. It's still successful, but it's just depleted. Uh, the other thing I want to do here that I haven't done before is I want to clamp this value. So I'm going to clamp float here and then put that in there instead of both of those okay that's better okay so we've got this binding uh, happening here the call um so i'm going to do start sprint i'm going to bind that event onto here so we do bind event to um stat depleted okay and we can do create event pin and in here we're going to choose our stop sprint and when we go over the stop sprint i want to unbind that thing so if i take start um take the unbind event from uh, stats completed. I'm going to drag this out, create event, and do the stop sprinting. So this function has been di disconnected from our stat depleted. Okay, so if I was to run around with sprints enabled, so I'm sprinting, and if, well, when that depletes, I should stop sprinting. So I'm now stop sprinting. That's fine. Okay. There we go. We've now got our sprinting working and our stamina depleting as we require it. 
In the next episode though, we're going to work on making it regenerate this stamina when we have stopped sprinting and stopped using our stamina. You can watch the next episode right now over on patreon.com forward slash Ryan Laley where you can watch all my videos early from just $1 a month. Massive thank you to all my patrons and YouTube members for their continued support. We wouldn't be doing this without you guys, so thank you again so, so much. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you next time. Bye, everyone.